Greetings and welcome back to the Odoyev conquest of Muscovy. We've conquered their capital node, Moscow. We took Novgorod from Denmark and now it's time to either take Vladimir or Nizhny Novgorod. I should have claimed Vladimir because we'll get a permanent claim on Nizhny Novgorod, but I wasn't thinking clearly then. It's time we declare. I think I'll go with this conquest, Casus Belli. Let's go against Russia. Now I've uh, remembered that I can press this button and convert my vassal, which I've totally forgot. Uh, we had uh, Armenia as a vassal for like 20 years, we could have made them fully orthodox. Maybe they would be a bit stronger economically and militarily if we did that. <coughs> but yeah, zero maintenance on the fleet and I, moth I deleted all my forts, right? I decided to play with no forts again. I want to ras that. Wait. Uh, what's going on with our generals? Should I get another general? Huh. Well, it would be better if I didn't. Hey. Seeds general, very nice. Can I go like this? No. So we have to go like this. Just go for Nizhny Novgorod. Well, let's do that. Um, there was a mothballed fort there. Go on and rust that. This is not mothballed. I just had my own guy there just in case. So this guy goes to this army, right? So he should go there. This guy has a four shock guy. Yeah. Let's just uh, conquer some stuff. Um, let's get two of these guys to do something else. Now I'm afraid the Livonian Order will get access from Poland or Denmark. I hope they won't. Or Lithuania. If they don't, we can. We can always check this. Ah, crap! Oh, I have access. That's why. Okay. I have access through Poland. And they get access through Poland because I have access through Poland. We can fix this. Can I go now? No, I can. Nice. Okay, so Livonian Order is... Uh, Livonian Order is alone there now. Okay, let's try getting a bit of occupation score there. So he has, he has some guys there. I'm hoping I can... Uh, how much people are we fighting? We're fighting 12,000 infantry from Muscovy, one horse and six cannons. So I think... Oh, did we get it? Nice, we got it. We got it, boys. Okay, let's be a little more reckless now. But we got that fort there. <coughs> ah? Ooh. Four attrition. Wow. That's a lot. We're waiting for adaptability. And then I would uh, core Novgorod. While Walake is here? Oh, because from the fight because of the fight with Denmark. Walake stayed here. <laughs> cool. He's going over to Kalitz. We can't go there. Can go there though. Ooh, Galaka is, Galaka is going to get on that fort there. Nice. That's very good. Let's actually let him go there. 
Get to go over there. Oof. See how this I see how this is. <coughs> Maybe I'll need to get my army down there. Give me another Okay, well that was expected. Um it's not a fort. It's going to convert them to Coptic. Well, can't do anything right now. Uh, Russia is way more important. He's going to Torzok. I think I can get him. Um, I need... All my troops actually. Oh no, I don't need this guy to be on my best fighting state. Okay, we can get him. Wait till he locks. Oh, on 3rd of May. Nice, Armenia is sitting that too. Maybe go down there for the converts. I think, I think this army is enough to beat uh, the Livonian in Muscovy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It is enough. Oh my god, what are these rooms? We didn't we didn't stack wipe them. That's not very good. Ooh. See. Well, I was wrong. Well, I just want this one, or this one. <coughs> oh, we're missing the fort, right, 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 right. So if we get the fort, we can actually piss out now. Should we piss out now? And then fight whom? What are our pistols? QQ on 29. Whoa. QQ is... Fucked. <laughs> um, we can go against the East ones. We will be Russia. We'll have different ideas. Okay, we can take Novgorod. Can we take Kasimov too? In the Russian region, so anything in the Russian, the Urals and the Pontic Steppe, um, Muscovy doesn't have anything outside of Russia, as it seems. No, he doesn't have anything outside of Russia. So maybe it's best if we end this war like this. War reps. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's. Wait one month. Yeah, I think I'll... Mm. Yeah, this is the war, guys. Uh, I can take the rest and call them after. 
But right now I think I want to get out of this war fast. <coughs> uh, be at low... At low overextension. Because we're not coring these two. Until we get adaptability. And when we get adaptability, we're coring them and then we're becoming racist. So Actually, let's go and deal with the cockpit guys. He's on the Seeds army. He's on this army. We have dead. We're not inheriting the dead, so I don't care about that. Okay, we can become Russia like this. This is a very weird Russia. I can say. Well, I didn't know that Russia got claims on the whole Pontic step, so I went ahead and conquered it. Almost all of it. So, yeah. I didn't know about that. I couldn't become... <laughs> I, I could have attacked Muscovy earlier, maybe. But then again, it's probably the same thing. Yeah, also I did all those, I cord all these, probably should have waited for this dude. Okay, so the army went over there, that's good because he's converting the Muslims. Okay, so how cheap is it now? Pretty cheap! Okay, we can, we can, we can get away with that, with that much. I probably want to raise a Cossack host. Where is he? Hey! No, it's the infantry. Where is the Kozak? Where is the Kozak? The Kozak is there. Okay. I'll get him to go there, get him to go there. And this guy should go down there. Let's go to speed 5. What are our. Diplomatic thing is now. Where should we go? We can go on Khorasan, Allied, Duzbek, Timurid, Jarkhan, Duzbek. Okay. Yeah, we can go like this. Well, of course. It's very weird. Okay, so Uzbek. He's fighting another war. I want to go in against Uzbek, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, get this guy over to his back. So he goes for them. And get this guy to deal with the rebels. Not bad. <coughs> what about Kazakh? He's allied to Iraq. Ooh. Maybe we should go against Kazakh. Going against Kazakh gives us a vassal. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go against Kazakh. Kazakh has some cores there. And then we're gonna go against Uzbek. He's not in any of our regions, right? No, the Urals. This is West Siberia. Okay. Okay. <coughs> well, we got this one province we needed. Waiting now for the cores. Novgorod and Nizhny Novgorod. Yep. Eww. What? More Coptic zealots? <laughs> Please don't go over to Van. Oh no. Come on, man. It's not right. Don't do it, mate. Do it. Don't do it. Eh. Okay, they have a bad general. Uh, we need to go over to Van, I think. No, he's going over to Van, man! December. Corruption or sub... Yeah. We we'll... I'll take the corruption, thank you very much. How much corruption are we making? Oof. Oof. Okay. <clears throat> Don't do it, mate. Nice, we got them. Uh, at least he converted only Van and it doesn't have religious zeal. 
so we can convert it back with our great great missionaries now what's this olive um the aristocrats lose loyalty and influence the burgers gain influence the aristocrats lose influence no burgers lose influence oh i can't give more influence to them I have to do this. Which means less manpower. Also, I checked out that we'll get more Streltsy. Streltsy. So, can we actually... Oh, where is it? I've used it. Do we have supply arms? I think Streltsy. Um, oh, no, it is for 20 years. I should have the modifier now. I should have it. I think I've used it. Yeah, armed Cossacks, okay. And full quantity. Nice. So Streltsy uh, are relevant to the total force limit you have. So, next year, just now, meaning, we can get a faction of Streltsy. Hey, hey! So, we have uh, 11 Streltsy there. We have 3 horses there. So, we need to get a thingy. 11 Streltsy. Let's send, if we send 2, they become 13. We have 10 there. If we send two, they become twelve. Let's send three. So we send two there. We send three there. And we send twelve with the three Cossacks, uh, which we're gonna upgrade in the future. Protect brethren, incorporate Armenia in our country. Okay. Well, I'm doing that anyways. It's gonna take a long time though. My 36, 8 year mission. Huh. Protect Brethren Queen. Where is Queen? Well. They're giving me a claim there. Let's reroll the mission. <coughs> we can go. No, no need to. No need to strengthen government. Mm. We're pretty much good. Yeah, we're pretty much good here. Start with Novgorod first. 13 months. But we don't have a claim there. It's actually a good choice to start with Novgorod. Um, okay. Go there, go there. Converting cannot, cannot, cannot. Okay. Oh, he sent his. Oh, what is it? Ours is it his? It's his. Um. Let's see. Oh, Armenian. What Armenian separatists on Ramazan. Guys, do you know what this means? So, these rebels are going to conquer this land here. And then this land is going to join, Arme join Armenia. <laughs> and we're going to inherit it. <laughs> Why is this game going so well? Is it the Russian factor? Is Russia always doing so well? Oh my god, I almost cried here. I teared up. <laughs> I, I just love it when this happens. Uh, the best thing that can happen to you is when you're playing Byzantium. And this province right here is Genoese. And they rebel against Genoese. And they have Greek rebels. Now they're Ottoman particularists. Probably Greek is accepted or something. But... Oh, there's no core there. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, yeah. And you have Greek separatists here. You're Byzantium and you just gain a free province from nothing. 
<laughs> it's crazy when that happens. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, you can do something like that with Turkey. You can like with uh, the with Byzantium fight the first war against the Ottomans, um, take all this land here, release Bulgaria, and take land here so they can't get forces over here. And wait until Greek separatists spawn here. You can actually exploit this somehow. I'm pretty sure. I will try it on my free time. Yeah, I'll probably try it on my free time. Okay, well, how are we going on? Economy here. We have a stronger... We have stronger trade on Novgorod. And soon, pretty soon, we're going to change our capital there from the decision, right? Uh, Odoyev, blah blah blah, Russia, no, it's a different decision, move your capital over to... Okay. Um, next month? Nice. Oh right, we wanted to fight Kazakh. This, this is the Seeds army, two Seeds, you go there, stay there, Let's see what happens. oh my god. Yeah, sure. So we have 17 stacks now, yeah, 17 stack, um, this is going to be a 15 stack. He's going there, so this stack is good. Uzbek pissed out. Kazakh got a new province. This is not bad. He's going to be our vassal, so we want him strong. Can we manage another vassal? We have an alliance with Poland and an alliance with Austria. Pretty strong alliances. We can manage another vassal for a little bit. We're way ahead on diplomatic. And we're full diplomatic power. We're going to be losing a little bit, but it's okay. Ottomans announced us as the rival. Well, okay, Ottoman. Uh, so, in previous episode, he wasn't willing to attack us. Now he is. Uh, what's going on with Ramas and Rebels? Oh, still same thing goes on. They're probably gonna get the fort. And give it to us. We got that. Right there. How many troops are we fighting? I don't think it's a problem. It's like 7 million tech. Um, are we attacking anyone else after that? Maybe Uzbek. Hmm. I should probably start fabricating on the Ottomans. Even though we can attack them with religious war, I want good claims to get cheaper land because we're going to have a problem. That is for sure. We're losing a lot from rooting out corruption, but soon we're not going to need to without corruption. Oh, wow. No! Wait to Strelzi! He wiped them clean! New. No. Okay, so let's give him two more Strelzi there. Actually... Wait, if it's in 15 stacks, then we can see 12, 11, 12, and just go in 16 stacks like this, it's not bad. Okay. Uh, let's get the Gualakian, Gualakian guy back. We're not close to that yet. 
Can I vassalize him now? 13 diplomatic. Uh, we don't want him to give up claims or return course. We go this, take your money. So we get any of his provinces? Nah. I'll just vassalize him like this. This is the pistol. Go. Okay. I don't think we can change his religion. Opinion of us must be positive. Arrival of arrival, Morocco. Sure. So, get the Ottoman guy back. We want to improve with Morocco. <laughs> what is it? even alive? Okay. Hey, hey. Start improving with Morocco and start improving with. Yeah, we're right there, so let's go with uh, Holy War. Where's the fort? Okay, this is not enemy territory, it's probably Transoxania. So this is the fort, we go there, goes there, goes there. We probably want to go against Transoxania too after this, even though they're pretty strong. Alliance wise. So we're always forgetting to do this. Okay. Doing well, of course. Pretty soon we're going to become Russia. <coughs> diplomatic and prestige or admin and diplomatic? Well, admin and diplomatic. Armed Cossacks expired. So we have a little bit less of force limit. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, right. Uh, we have to tell him to be a siege guy. And also improve relations. Novgorod is ours. Zero corruption. Everything is going well. Everything is going swell. Twelve four. We want another Kozak at some point. Um, hmm. I can do this. It's not going to net us anything good. No need. I don't need to do this. Right. We can convert these guys. Is it this? Stover? Peace offer from Uzbek. Um Okay, what is this? So he has a claim there? Hmm. What is the culture? <sighs> Development is pretty low. We can probably take them for ourselves. And not go ahead with more administrative ideas. They don't have anything we really like. So, yeah. Yeah, that's probably what we'll do. So, we'll take them for ourselves. Let's see. Ooh, there are lots. They are a lot.
61 aggressive expansion <coughs> 200 admin yeah we can can play like this Let's, let's get this guy back, let's get this guy there, I should be drilling him, are we on tech, we're gaining very little diplomatic, so I guess that's probably okay, why are we getting two though, I thought we would be losing one, oh, we're annexing Armenia faster, because we have more diplomatic reputation, oh, hey, we can become Russia when we are at peace. Thank you. Um, oh, he put it down. We didn't eclipse him. Oh, poor Kazakh. So we can do this now. So we go back. Troops like this and like this, and we form Russia. Yes, yes, new ideas and traditions. Holy war, yet another holy war. Russia and Moscow existing at the same map, establishing establish the Russian patriarchate. Uh, the cities not owned by Byzantium have prestige of two, and Russia has unlocked scientific revolution. Revolution! What is scientific? It's probably on technology. Cost of reducing war exhaustion. What is this? <laughs> what is this even? <laughs> okay, let's check our ideas now. We have 10% core creation cost. Not bad. Uh, it's not 20. 10% aggressive expansion automatically discover uh, adjacent when a colony is built may establish Siberian frontiers. Artillery cost and artillery compatibility. Land force limit modifier. My god. My god. Uh, yearly corruption. Army tradition advisor cost. Morale of armies. Fire damage received and yearly legitimacy. It's not bad. In conjunction with uh, Patriarch Authority. It's not bad at all. It's pretty cool, actually. It's pretty cool. Okay, so what are the other Orthodox nations? Because pretty soon I'd like to become the Defender of Faith. Um, now we have permanent claims all over here. That's great, isn't it? Look at this. Nice. Nice. Do we have a permanent claim here too? No. Hmm. I wonder. So let's go. Change this, then core. But the ability. We don't get the permanent claim. Crap. Well, I'm not going to state this up yet. Uh. So we should have a lot of states because we're Tsardom we gain extra benefits here so Tsardom Absolutism National Focus cooldown. Down we've accepted all the Russian ones that's pretty good Yuri Rubikovic Maybe Huh Why is army maintenance so big? Mobility, okay. Adaptability and has a claim. Oh, do I have a permanent claim? What's he talking about? Is it this one only? Where do I have a claim? It's this one and not these ones, okay. 
Um, he's 18 though. This one is 18 too. Oh, this is probably in the Urals too. Okay. That's good. Then this is 29. This is 39. Well, I can't calculate this now, so I'll just wait for the month. Cassius Belli. Against Sweden, Denmark, and Poland. Holy War against. Okay, cleansing of heresy. Burn the heretics. Okay, and we discovered all the provinces here. And we can do Siberian frontiers. Establish Siberian frontier cost diplomatic power. This will create a colony that will slowly grow without the need for a colonist. How slowly does this grow? And how much is the. Now, are the. Any chance they rebel? There's a 0% chance per month for the native uprising. That's probably because it's a Siberian frontier. So, yeah. I can't establish it there, of course. We can establish them all over here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are we paying for them? Whew. Oh, crap, man. I thought we were paying for them. Well, I should probably let the month low and see if I pay for them also I should just go here. I don't think uh, 0.03 we're exhausted <laughs> it's making a difference nice so I don't this is the first time I play with Russia and Siberian frontiers so I'm not sure how they work okay not bad at all how slowly either are they growing? Is the question. I should have the stats somewhere here. Gains 5 to 15 settlers each month. So it gains, let's say it gains 10.05. 10.5 every month. In 10 months he gets 105. And then 2 more months, 21 more, he gets 126 a year. So it's about eight year colonies. This is pretty strong, man. It's pretty strong. Uh, if I knew that, I'd have taken that and left this alone. So, yeah. Nice. Very sexy. Hey. We can get new tech. What is it? Is it cannons too? So, do we take the shock defense or the morale defense? I'll just give the moral defense, but I don't think we'll have our cannons take damage anytime soon. <coughs> Probably should have taken the shock defense, now that I think about it. Okay, we're good though. We're pretty sexy. Let's see. Everything is at 0% chance to rebel. This is pretty good. Do we get the local goods produced? Yeah, we get the local goods produced too. So, if I picked this one, native assimilation, with Siberian frontiers, I don't know if you get... What is this? <laughs> it would be funny if they were Russian separatists. <laughs> okay, well, no guy separatists. We have no guy territories. So they probably are going to come in nuisance so damage received less okay okay so we should have one more diplomat soon we because we're empire rank no I'm probably wrong I don't think anything changes yet we get different missions but I want to do the Moroccan one first. Okay. Um, well, let's just drill the guy. As long as he's not doing anything. We got this one! Hey! We got Rizikan. And there's the breeze. And there are a lot of new... New guys that we can attack. 
This is pretty sexy. Allied with Luristan. Well, you can just get the high, high thingy. Yeah, I think this is it, guys, for now. I'll see you next time on Odogev Became Russia. Babushka Russia. Do we still get that achievement, please? Yes. We still get that achievement. Nice. So, see you guys next time.